hello everyone welcome to my channel so I have seen many of my customers facing difficulty uh, using this zone of mini uh, smart switch so I decided to make a video especially on how to pair this zone of mini uh, with your uh, home automation system okay so uh, it is very uh, easy and I will show you how quickly you can do it so first thing first you get this device in a small box like this and you have to open this box and when you open this box you will find a manual in it so open this manual and you will see a wiring diagram in it okay this wi wiring diagram is very much clear and you can uh, see that uh, how the wiring has been done there is input and output so first thing that we need to take care of is the input so there you can see there is ln and there is n ln lnl and there is nln so this ln lin is this live input and nin is the neutral input so you can see here also we have lin and this nin and you can see I have uh, added this uh, wire to wire this live wire goes to LIN and this neutral wire goes to NIN so now let's plug this to the power source and turn it on so as soon as I give the power you can see that uh, the blue light starts blinking with a specific pattern okay so check the pattern this pattern is needed for pairing now I will go to the app I have downloaded EVLink app I will show you the this is the EVLink app you can download it from Play Store or App Store and then you need to press the add button it will give you uh, different options we need to go for quick pairing uh, we need to get, go for add one device and in this step you need to enter your Wi-Fi details so make sure you go for 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi signal and select your router I think it wants to use my device it wants to use my location I will allow it you need to uh, go for the this permission this uh, this location permission so that it can auto detect your Wi-Fi router and now next I need to enter the password okay so I have given the password and now let's tap on next you can see still it is blinking make sure when the pairing is going on it is blinking and you can see, see it's looking for device retrieving device and now finally it is paired so I will press on done okay now if I turn it on so you can see it is working you can see the color has also changes of the LED also if you see the output I think 
you need to the live output is not working because we need to turn this if you're not getting the power in live just turn the connective connection of the power source and then again we will try it so live input is there see live input is there and now let's check the live output when I turn it off nothing happens I turn it on power is there so in the ln there should be the live input then you will get the live output in the uh, l out so this was very simple and i will show you also how to uh, if you change the router this is the uh, step uh, which many face difficulty in like if you change the router what you need to do and how need to pair it with the another router this is also very simple and i will show you how to do it so stay tuned so now i will show you what you need to do if you uh, change your router and you have already been using a sonoff mini with uh, one router and uh, you you have changed your router but sonoff mini is not working so first let's uh, give uh, uh, power to son of me and I will what I need to do is that you can see uh, it is showing a blue light okay and if I press it it is turned on if I press it again it is turned off turned on turned off now what I will do, I will press it for 5 seconds and I will get to see a change in blinking pattern. So now you can see there is a change in blinking pattern. Now what I need to do, I need to go for a different router. So earlier I was using Netgear 92 now I will be using another router which is um, which is not showing in the list at present yeah it is now here so I will go for this router now my mobile is connected to the new router and I will start the pairing process so what I did is I tapped on this plus icon I went for quick pairing pair one device at gear 9 and now I will enter the password So I have entered the password and you can see that this device is in pairing mode, the light is blinking. So let's go for uh, pairing it with the uh, new router. So remember this device is already paired with one router and now we are pairing it with a new router. This is the step in which many people face difficulty. So I am showing you, you don't need to. Uh, worry about it if you have changed your router so this is done so now you can see it will work with a new router okay you can see it is working with a new router let's check the output
so it is off you can see there is no power now this is on power is there off there is no power on there is power we can turn it on off on and off from here also off on so now this is working with a new router earlier it was working with the old router so it is very simple to use this one of mini uh, device and when you like uh, use it with the real uh, switch board okay just you need to connect the uh, your toggle switch with this s1 and s2 that is i am not uh, doing in this video because the main um, uh, objective of this video was to show you how to pair it with a, uh, your home router and then if you change your router how to go for that so i hope that this video is helpful for you if you want such uh, smart devices at a reasonable price please do check the description of this video and thank you so much for watching this video